The battle over the Dakota Access Pipeline is heating up after energy transfer partners on Saturday attacked protesters, rallying against the destruction of sites sacred to the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe in North Dakota. On Tuesday, the native resistance showed no signs of slowing down, with activists carrying out further direct action to halt construction of the pipeline. They say threatens land and water sacred to native people. She's here to stop the destruction of Mother Earth. She's standing up for the water. She's standing up for the children. She's standing up against meth and all this violence that these machines and this destructive way of life brings into our communities. While the mainstream media has been largely silent on this issue, on Saturday, video captured by Democracy Now! showed private security guards using pepper spray and dogs against peaceful protesters. We reached out to Energy Transfer Partners for an interview and are awaiting a statement. Meanwhile, law enforcement called the actions a riot. The protesters attacked the workers. We reached Earth Justice, who's representing the Standing Rock Sioux, and they told us they filed a fresh restraining order on Sunday. A hearing for the case is scheduled for 3 p.m. Tuesday. On Friday, the tribe filed a brief mapping out the sacred sites adjacent to the construction site for the Dakota Access Pipeline. According to Earth Justice, the response from energy transfer partners was to bulldoze those identified sites, even though they were not on the path of the pipeline. Tribal expert Tim Mentz filed the brief on Friday. There was portions of these sites that we had uh, just filed Friday uh, in U.S. District Court in Washington, D.C. as an amendment to the declaration that I provided initially uh, August 24th uh, when the uh, Standing Rock Sioux Tribe uh, sued or filed suit on uh, in the form of a preliminary injunction uh, to stop the Dakota Access. Today we're looking at an area here that has been scraped. Uh, it's a 150-foot corridor. Uh, there was multiple sites within this uh, uh, corridor section, and uh, we were never allowed to get in, right inside the, the, uh, inside the 150 uh, corridor, but we recorded outside looking in, and we had 100, uh, excuse me, 82 features along this corridor and uh, uh, 27 graves were, were uh, identified within this area. Also on Friday, we interviewed Crystal Tubuls, a water protector with Red Warrior Camp. She described the native convergence gathered in opposition to the Dakota Access Pipeline as one of the largest in over a century. There's, this is the first time that the seven council fires, so the seven different bands of the Ochati Shakoe, um, are, are also known as the Great Sioux Nation, have been together um, since 1868 during the Battle of Little Bighorn, um, or correction, 1876, the Battle of Little Bighorn. Um, and that was the only time the U.S. military has been defeated on what they claim to be the United States turf. Real News will keep bringing you updates on this story. This is Jessel Noor.